Hey guys, it's time for another shop update. Last weekend we started a giveaway for some crawler innovations, 1.55 foams, and this weekend we'll wrap that up. I'll get to that here in just a little bit. It was a fairly busy week, both in here in the shop and outside of the shop, getting some things rolling for some projects that are going to be started that some of them I talked about last week and some of them I haven't mentioned at all yet. Uh, ones that you guys have seen is the SCX10 converted rate that you see here in front of me. Uh, I posted up some videos on it this week and I've got more videos on it coming soon. Uh, today I worked around it a little bit and ended up getting the Wraith interior to fit in there with just a little bit of modification and you'll see that on the next one. Basically it's an SCX10 chassis underneath of a Wraith cage and a uh, whole bunch of purpose to why I'm doing things on that. Uh, but it's supposed to be a pretty easy maintenance vehicle with this little flip top. If you haven't seen anything on that, you can check out the videos. Next with here is the Yeti, which these have started hitting the sh shops everywhere. So you guys, if you've ordered one, you probably have it in hand already. If not, I'm sure you will pretty soon. <clears throat> now I've done some more modifications on this that you guys haven't seen yet. I've got videos shot and I need to get those up. These are the Ot6 Voodoo's. Now you've seen me running those previously. However, these are a new set. I've switched to a brand new set of silvers. These are actually the production version. So I've got a video on this uh, tire choice and some siping options that these tires are designed for. So watch for that. I just got to get that video finished up. A couple of other things you guys haven't seen yet on this particular car is I took out that MIP front setup that I had with those big beefy MIP shafts. And I'm actually running a set of axial universal axle shafts up front. Not the CVD set that you've seen used in the EXO before, but these are an actual universal shaft, just like the upgraded shafts you can get for the Axial Wraith or the shafts that used to come with the Axial XR10. So a very similar type deal. That's what I'm running in here. I'm still running a locked setup and we'll get to exactly what I'm doing with that later on down the road. Beyond that, I've just been beating on this car since and it's still holding up great. I'm having a blast with it and it's a lot of fun to run. I'm sure you guys, if you've got one already, you're seeing some of the things that I've talked about before. But for now, we're going to keep moving with this thing. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. We've got a lot of events still coming up here before the end of the year, uh, hopefully before it gets too cold. But uh, still looking forward to running that car with a bunch of others here um, in the not so distant future. Now, a couple of things that aren't here in the shop yet, but will be soon. First of all, the deadbolt that I mentioned last week, the uh, budget build that I'm going to get started on, that's not here yet. Hopefully it will be here soon. I've got to wait on that to come in and then I'm going to start gathering parts and start getting everything rolling to do that $50 a week budget build, just like I did with the Poison Spider Wraith. So that will be coming, still planned on, just got to get everything going behind the scenes before I can really start posting videos on it. Uh, but I am excited to get that project going. Next of all, another super exciting little piece of information that kind of materialized last week. Tomorrow, Monday, maybe the day you guys are actually seeing this, I should have in my hands a media sample of the brand new Vitera Ascender chassis. Now, if you haven't seen that, it is Vitera's pretty their answer or their entry into the market of uh, an SCX10 competitor rail chassis. Uh, it's got some pretty scale looking axles underneath it. It's got an adjustable wheelbase type setup. Uh, comes with a K5 blazer body on top of it. So it is a full size uh, rig and it's supposed to look like rather than, you know, one of the smaller type off-road vehicles that you may see. So full size, a little different than what we see with a lot of things. Uh, on that same coin though, Axial did release the SCX10 Dodge, or actually not a Dodge, it's a Ram. Uh, not a Dodge truck anymore, they're just Ram trucks. So. Uh, a couple of entries into a full-size off-road type looking truck. But I am excited to see this Viterra Ascender. It would be the first real uh, competitor to the SCX10 in a little while. The Sawback uh, gave it a shot, leaf springs, things like that. Didn't really give it the splash in the market that maybe it would have seen if it was going to be something that would have been more appealing to the masses. Uh, while leaf springs are very cool for scale appeal, uh, you put it in the hands of somebody who's not looking for that ultra scale realism right out of the box and they can get kind of uh, fed up with that type of design so um, you know almost but not quite hopefully the Viterra does not fall into the same boat now for this little truck here I had recently ordered a set of the new Vanquish 8-hole shooter beadlock wheels this is a 
a three-piece wheel like the Method or OMF wheels that you've seen uh, from Vanquish before, so it makes it super easy to uh, swap a tire on. Now, I was gonna put those on here just because it was something new from them and I something I wanted to try. However, that eight hole style, probably pretty fitting uh, for that blazer. So I'm probably gonna just swap these onto that truck when it comes in. Um, it's a beadlock. It does not come, that truck does not come with beadlocks. So not a big fan of gluing tires unless there's like a really big need for a, a performance game. Uh, but on that truck, I'm probably gonna swap to a set of beadlocks as soon as possible. Now at my day job, I've actually been super busy lately. So I haven't had a ton of time to get down here as I've been working some longer hours. But one of the nights after getting home a little bit later, I kind of wanted to come down here and unwind a little bit. Nicole had found some project on Pinterest that she saw with a paper airplane painted on the wall. And while I'm not much of a painter, uh, I didn't, I kind of wanted to just come around and play around a little bit. So I had kind of converted that project into something different. This is a little model of a paper airplane for her to hang on the wall made out of our typical 3 16th inch solid uh, steel rod and then it's just been primed. But something for uh, her upstairs, just a random project that uh, was a little bit of fun to work on something different down here as well. On the last video as well, I mentioned how I was doing some cleaning and I did get some cleaning done. I got basically the portion of the shop that you can see in this video done. I got benches cleaned off, here and there and while I have been working on them again so they're a little bit messy they're nothing like they were I did make some pretty decent progress on that but I by no means got any work done in the studio or the entire other side of the shop so you win some you lose some but it was a it was a good effort and I was glad I got something done on that all right before we get into the giveaway and stuff like that we're gonna do a quick spin around the shop look at all the other projects and we'll see exactly where we're at with all the other things sitting in the shop so as I had mentioned, the benches are slightly cleaned off. They're a little bit cluttered again, but not terrible. They're pretty workable. So we're in pretty good shape on that side. This is where it gets pretty messy still. <laughs> Parts and pieces laying all over. Howard and John have been overworking a little bit as well, so place is a little messy still. Now this is a project that most of you haven't seen if you're just on the YouTube channel, but if you're on my Facebook, this was around a few years ago when I originally built it. Basically a mountain bike front end, inch and a half DOM tubing for the main chassis rails there, a tractor seat out of tractor supply. The rear end, however, is a little different. Pretty standard fare with shifter cart front tires for uh, the rear setup, but it is a full suspension <laughs> type deal. It's a one big swing arm for the rear that mounts to a one inch heim joint up there and then it's controlled by a pan hard bar. So actually very comfortable to ride really on or off road. We ran it in a bunch of different situations, kind of raced them downhill or even pulled it around off road with behind a little dirt bike type deal. Pretty fun, stupid little project. Had it around for quite a while. Looking at doing some upgrades or e-bike type conversion to it here for a big car show that comes around every year on Labor Day here in the Kansas City area called Greaserama. So I may look at that, may look at building another, who knows, just something stupid that I've had around for way too long, but another project that materialized from a dumb idea we had at work one day. Stepping into the studio, it's, uh, it's pretty dark in here right now. Um, Howard's mega truck chassis. This thing's actually for sale. If anybody's looking at a mega truck chassis that looks like this one comes complete with the links, shocks, axle mounts, and everything. You can basically bolt a set of AR60 axles in this thing and an axial transmission, and you'd be good to go. I think uh, Howard's looking for 250 shipped in the US for this thing. If you'd like it, you can shoot me a message on here or on the Facebook page, and we can get you taken care of. Over to the wall of projects, the Matzilla 1.9's up there on the wall still, pretty much unchanged. Drifter yeah, Scout sitting there, same condition. Matzilla Mantis chassis sitting there, same condition. Have worked on the Spider Yeti project a little bit. It's got the uh, the Italian made pure spider axles on it, high clearance and all, but that thing's gonna be a pretty good sized project. Had some Vanquish parts come in for it yesterday actually so can get back to work on that thing 
that's about it for project update and all that kind of stuff. We'll uh, jump back in, we'll get this giveaway finished up and get you guys on your way. Now the giveaway winner. Now if you're in the US, I'll ship these out to you, no charge. If you're overseas, international, uh, I would appreciate if you just cover the extra shipping. The winner is Sydney Seligson. So Sydney, congratulations. If, uh, if you see this video, shoot me a message. Otherwise I'll try and message you as well and uh, get these foams out to you. Thanks to Crawler Innovations for providing those and congratulations. Thanks for everyone who supported, subscribed, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate all that. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more giveaway stuff coming up here soon and uh, we'll work on that as time goes on. But for now, that's all I got. This thing is, uh, we'll get this wrapped up and upload it for you guys tonight so you can see it in the morning. But I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend and we'll see you next time.